Welcome to Z's Bookshelf featuring Ebb and Flow. This way to the sea. This way and you're on the shore where the silver boats come and go. You'll find Ebb and Flow. The tide may be high or low. The sun has a golden glow. This way where the silver boats come. spot. Things couldn't be better. Oh, Eb, <laughs> oh, isn't she lovely? She likes you, Eb. No, we need some milk. Okay. Coming, Eb. to come too. Eb loved her trips to the store with Flo. Wait here, Eb. Hello, Flo. Uh, Milk for your ma. Oh, what a lovely bird. Uh, come on, Eb. to shake her off. Bird thought it was a great game. Eb, it's tea time. Now you must share with her, Eb. She wants to be friends with you. First her food, and then her bed, and now her squeaky boo. This was too much for Eb. She wished Bird would fly away and never come back. The very next morning, Eb's wish came true. Oh, no! Bird's gone. Now Eb had her favorite spot all to herself. Things couldn't be better. Only now she had to eat all by herself. It felt strange without Bird getting in the way. And somehow she couldn't sleep very well. Her bed was too cold and empty. It was no good. Without Bird, Eb wasn't happy at all. Then, one evening... Look, Eb, it's Bird. And there was Bird in Eb and Bird's favorite place. Things couldn't be better.
to play too. <coughs> Careful, Eb. Eb had never climbed so high before. Her poor legs weren't strong enough. to miss a trip to the boatyard. You rest your paw, Eb. We'll be back soon. Eb felt it was Bird's fault that she had a sore paw. Eb wondered if she'd ever visit the boatyard with Flo again. from the lady in the shop. Doggy chocks, Eb's favorite. That evening, they all settled down to sleep. Shush, bird, Eb needs a good night's sleep. Eb loved being the center of attention. The next day, Eb went on a special trip. Grandma wanted to check her paw. So, how's the patient, Flo? Let's have a good look at you. I think a biscuit might help. Look, Bird wants one too. <laughs> Eb had been by Flo's side all day. She wished it could last forever. But the next morning, Eb was alone. Flo and Bird were nowhere to be seen. Eb wished her paw was better. up to. She knew Eb couldn't play, but the more Bert squeaked Eb's ball, the more she wanted it back. Faster and faster, Eb ran, and her paw was fine. Eb! Your paw! It's better! Want to play ball? <laughs> uh -oh. 
things couldn't be wetter. Silver boats come and go, you know, you can always find Evan Flow. 
was a perfect day. Hurry up, Flo, or you'll be late. But not for Ebb. Bye, Ma. Flo was going somewhere. What? Without Ebb. Bye, Ebb. See you later. Ebb wondered why she couldn't go too. And if Flo had a stick, that meant she was going to throw it. But not for Ebb. What if Flo had found a new friend to play fetch with? This was too much for Ebb. Ebb! She just had to find Flo. Follow my leader. Bird like this game. Wherever Ebb was going, Bird was coming too. Whether Ebb liked it or not. Ebb could hear music. was having a music lesson. And the stick she was playing was a recorder. Oh, Ed. Shush. Oh, what a clever dog. <laughs> Bravo. Time to go home. The day had worked out perfectly.
today on Noggin. for show and tell on Noggin. Hey, let's figure out what this is. Now let's see. What do you see? Numbers. Yeah, I see numbers too. What has lots of numbers on it? Can you guess what this is yet? A clock. Tremendous! It's a clock. Clocks tell us what time it is. Oh, sounds like time's up for show and tell. Take it home. Eb wondered how it must feel to be so small and all alone. Come on, little one, eat up. Eb didn't like anyone apart from Bird using her bowl, but she didn't mind this time. She just wanted the little cormorant chick to get stronger. That's good. Some more. 
You have to find your ma. Get you back to the sea. <laughs> I think it likes you, Eb. It's all right. It's only bird. Come to visit. It thinks you're a nest, Eb. Eb felt proud to be the little chick's nest. The time had come to find the little chick's ma. So they all went back to the beach. But they just couldn't see the little chick's ma. What is it? What can you see? And there she was. Oh, look, it's your ma. Eb knew there was only one thing to do. Though the water was cold, and Eb was more than a little scared. That's it, Eb. Keep going. The little chick needed its ma. up after a storm. Hope you had fun during Z's Bookshelf featuring Ebb and Flow. Log on to DailyNoggin.com for more.
Barely Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, and more. Just come on over and see what's happening on Nick. <laughs>